so it is time to put um the has like the balance assembly back in. Uh so we need to put it in like so. Let's see pair of tweezers preferably. So now we need to put it in this way. Um, let's put it as far as we can get it like this. Now this is kind of like um, like normally. I don't know if this picks up. On, yeah. You can see those two pins on there. That's basically, um, in, normally you have like a, a safety roller, but here it are like two safety pins. Um, which is a bit of a different system. But hey, it works. I just want to kind of like get it into like the the fork of the ensure and get it um, stuck um, and then after that we're going to uh, try and put it put the hairspring in the correct position. Problem is, is that that one screw that we call them pitch screws, by the way, because they have like a little pit in them. Seems like a mission impossible to get it back in. Well, for your viewing pleasure, let's meet again here when uh, that's put back in. Okay, got that back in. Now I need to find the small pin. Although they're both pretty small, but um, I'm going to assume that one was from. No, not from there. Let's take, let's take the straightest one. That's going to be the easiest. Now, I have to lead it through the regulating arm.
Now I need to put it into a position where like it is neutral. It seems about right. Now let's put that conical pin in and in hopes not to try to disturb the main spring, a uh, hand spring, and I disturbed it. So what we do is you take it back out and just try again, and that is much much better. Now we have some amplitude. Now. Let's see, do I need to put this a little bit, a little bit more loose? No, not at all. That's too loose. That's too... Now it's stuck. That was... Ah. It disengaged. Okay, now we could shift it loose again. Let's see if I can purposely disengage it so we can engage it again. There we go. We have a, we had a bit of amplitude there. That's nearly not enough amplitude. That was even less than when we started. But it looks like it is getting stuck on something. Let's first um, put some oil on the little points there. Preferably without getting oil on the hair spring, that would be great. Well, there's already m more amplitude, but... It still looks like it's getting stuck on something from time to time. Getting good, it seems. No, still not. Okay, now let's see it is did it need touching it? No, it is not. So where is it getting stuck? You can see with the amplitude that it's doing right now. Um, it's never going to run accurate. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I should put some oil on that too. Um, I'm going to let it run and I'll get back to you. Maybe the amplitude gets better over time. Um, hello everyone. So here we are back with um, Jung Han's um, wall clock. So, um, where we left off last time was that like it was ticking but not um, completely like it should be. Um, give it like a few minutes and I guess you can see now it has a nice amplitude uh, A little movement has been ticking for two days now um, So yeah, we're all good. It's time to mount it back into uh, the case So um, Before we do so let's slide this back on we'll drop the fog in between the The fog measure now, at first we got to mount this to the front face of the clock and then slide that in. So, now we have this like little feet, there's four of them. Okay. Now, originally this was mounted with two um, instead of the four that it should have been. Um, it's probably been like that for years. Uh, so I am not going to put in another one. I'm just going to put in the two that I found. I'm putting them in staggered, so uh, as you can see, it's holds the movements pretty well. As you can see, the little regulating arm is protruding to the dial. Is that what we need? And now, well, now is the most easy step, I think. Time to um, put the rest in there. I've got the coin call pin over. Hmm. So why do I run it in that? Uh, doesn't fit. Too bad. Otherwise, yeah, would have been three. Oh, only two. Um, so now uh, let's see. Let's yep, like so. Okay, that went rather easy as you can see. Those are in. Now I can't remember if we had three or four when I took this apart. However, um I might just look for a four one anyway. So I got them in gentling position, hand tight and then uh, let's Tighten them completely.
Okay, so that is mounted now. It stopped ticking, but let's get it started up again. It wants to. Did we hit something? That's odd. It was working perfectly. Let's see. Give it a little bit more juice. Definitely need to keep that in for a bit longer because that was a bit weird. Let's put the hands on. Since there's no chime or anything like that, let's just align them at the 12. Oh, it seems that it's almost pretty much aligned. Okay, let's put the watch hand nut on there. Okay, and there we go. So now I'm going to keep this one under observation, first of all to adjust it, and second of all we had a weird incident where it suddenly stopped ticking. Does I have in there? Don't want that. Um, but as far as this video goes, I'm pretty sure we are done, unless I find some other interesting problem with this. Um, which is a possibility because like I said it stopped working at one point uh, but yeah uh, we'll see um, it might just be the end of the video so bye bye hope to see you in the next one